What's going on guys? We're back today with another PC build. In this video, I'm building a budget PC for my nephew's 11th birthday. I was doing a lot of research to try to find cheap PC parts everywhere from Amazon, Timu, AliExpress, you name it. If they sold PC parts, I was looking. I wasn't really having any luck until I stumbled across Zach's tech turf. Shout out to Zach. Basically, this build is what he did in his video. The only difference is I used a different motherboard and a different case. I decided to go with a different motherboard because I wanted a motherboard that supported Wi-Fi. There's no way my nephew would have been able to run an ethernet cable through the house. So I had to get him something that he can use Wi-Fi with. For the case, I decided to go with the Aurora GC1 by Game Diaz. It's a mid tower case that came with four ARGB fans. It was really cheap as well. It was only $52. I knew my nephew would like this design. So I decided to go with this one. The motherboard I went with is the AS Rock V 450M slash ACR 2.0. Again, I only went with this one because the Wi Fi capabilities. I got a used Ryzen 5 3600 CPU from eBay, a one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, 16 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, a cheap CPU cooler, and a 500 watt power supply. So this is only the second PC I've ever built, and both times this is the most intimidating step for me. I've seen a lot of stories where people have bent the pins trying to put it in, and I just really don't want that to happen to me, so thank god it hasn't yet, and hopefully it never does. With this being the second PC I've built, I haven't really done a how-to video. I didn't really feel comfortable telling people this is how you do it when I myself am learning. I'm about to build my other nephew a PC for his birthday, and I'm thinking of doing something along the lines of how to build a PC for beginners by a beginner. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments. I know there's a lot of good YouTube channels out there that teach you how to build PCs, but when I went to build my first PC, I realized that some of them are kind of advanced, and they do a pretty good job at breaking it down for beginners. At the same time, they have a lot of knowledge, so a lot of times you think you're breaking it down for someone that doesn't fully understand but you're not really breaking it down to someone who has no idea what you're talking about at all so i think if i made a how-to as someone who is also learning and someone who had a lot of questions i think it could really benefit someone for now though if you do have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments my last pc build i got quite a few questions and i hope i was able to help out again i'm no expert so i'll help where i can all right so getting back to the build not only was i trying to do a budget build but i was also kind of on a time constraint because my nephew's birthday was coming up soon so i decided to get most of the things from amazon and the cpu and gpu from ebay i did look on offer up but all the sellers in my area didn't really have what i was looking for facebook marketplace i kind of struck out as well but i feel like they're both pretty good resources to get used pc parts if you can find some reputable sellers i also would have went the aliexpress route like zach did in his video but i didn't really have the time to wait for a shipment from china and then if it didn't work out out, send it back and try to get a replacement part so i ended up just sticking with ebay but in the future i would like to try an aliexpress build just to see how it turns out for now enjoy the building process i'll be back to talk about something that came up when i turned the pc on for the first time some gameplay all the pcs holding up and some final thoughts
while editing this video i realized that i lost the footage where i'm showing off the gpu but i got the evj geforce gtx 1080 ti sc 11 gigabyte as i said before i got it used on ebay and it was 180 dollars Before I went any further, I turned on the PC to make sure that it actually turns on. No issues there. Then I can start on the cable management and get all that buttoned up. CPU being used, I got this message. I just hit yes to reset it and I was able to install Windows and start downloading games. First game I played was Fortnite and honestly it did better than I expected it. Here's some footage of the gameplay. Next I tried Warzone, and besides me being terrible at the game, the PC handled it very well. An enemy squad is tracking your location. The last game I played was Roblox. I played Frontlines and a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Both games ran pretty smooth. For the price of this PC, I would say this is a really good deal. My nephew's had it for about two months now and hasn't had any issues. I'm about to do a pretty similar build for my other nephew. I would definitely recommend this to somebody that's looking to build a budget PC. Thanks for watching though. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh. Brandon, my future.